this is Ellen Brock, freelance editor. Today I want to talk about how to write in omniscient point of view. It's a common misconception that omniscient allows you to go into the viewpoints of different characters. That's not really the case. In fact, there's only one viewpoint and that viewpoint is the view of the narrator. So the narrator can see everything and know everything and know what all the characters are thinking and feeling and doing at all times, but they don't use the voice of the other characters because the narrator is its own entity. In Third Limited, you might incorporate the character's voice into the narration, even though it's not in first person. It would probably sound a lot like how the character might speak if it were in first person. That's not the case in Omniscient. The narrator's voice is the only voice that should be present in the novel, which means it should stay consistent from beginning to end. If the omniscient voice changes, then you're no longer writing in omniscient, you're writing in third limited with head hopping. I'm going to make a separate video about head hopping so that you can understand what makes it different from omniscient point of view. But right now I'm just going to stick to omniscient. If you want to go into the voices of the characters in omniscient, you have the option of using italics for their thoughts or just stating that the character thought it. For example, you could say Margot thought that John was a bad man. That doesn't reflect the narrator's point of view, so you could add as much voice into that as you want. You could say, Margot thought that he was a horrible man. You could say, Margot thought that he was the most terrible person on earth. Or you could use a lot of swearing or whatever you want to do because it's not reflecting the voice of the narrator. It's only reflecting the thoughts of the character. But if you're not using thoughts and you're not saying that the character thought something or that it was the character's perception, then everything in the narration reflects on the narrator and the narrator's opinion. And it is totally fine for the narrator to have their own opinion and commentary on things. Often the most interesting narrators do have opinions and they do make judgments. It's just important that those judgments not be the character's judgments unless it's specified. The challenging part of omniscient point of view is that because the narrator can follow any character that they want, including their thoughts and their feelings and what they're experiencing, it's really important that the author be discerning about what information they reveal and when. It has to be strategic. It's not a good idea to just jump from one character to another character to another character. It's important that you follow one character until it makes logical sense to follow a different one, which means you really shouldn't be switching back every other paragraph or in a dialogue. It shouldn't really go from one person's perception to another person's perception. There needs to be a, a valid and important reason to switch to following a different character. Otherwise, it can make the narrative feel very cluttered and jarring if you're jumping from one character to another. It can also create a distance between the reader and the character where they can't really establish a closeness to any of the characters because the focus character is changing so rapidly. What you don't want to do is change the focus character just because it's easier to explain something from their perspective because this is going to create a very weak feel to the story because you're going to end up relying a lot on telling. You still want to use showing as much as possible even though as an omniscient narrator you can tell anything that you want. Showing is still a better way to engage the reader in the story. So I hope this video gave you a better understanding of omniscient point of view. I'm going to make another video about head hopping very shortly. So thanks for watching and leave a comment if you have any questions.